that's Maleficent. And that. Ooh, ooh. Kitty Zisa. Rock a bye, baby on the tree. <gasps> My baby's got spots all over her face. I better call a doctor straight away. Hello. Do I recognise that voice? Hello? This is Man. <coughs> I'm in the doctor's office. How may I help you? It's my little baby Elisa. She's covered in red spots. Red spots, eh? That sounds like chicken pox. <gasps> the chicken pox? Oh no! I think you should bring her here to see me right away. Okay, I'll be on my way. He 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 he. I've never been to these doctors before. Hello. <coughs> Hello. I'm here to see the doctor. <coughs> That's me. You must be Elsa. Yes, and my baby Elisa has got chicken pox. Oh dear, that is one of the worst chicken pox I've ever seen. Well, what can you do about it, doctor? I think this will require one of my strongest potions. <gasps> potions? I don't like the sound of that. Did I say potions? I mean medicine. Aha! <laughs> This'll clear her chicken pox in no time. Try some of this. Ooh. Here you go, Lisa. Drink up. <gasps> She's got even more spots than ever. It hasn't worked, Doctor. No. Oops. I think we need something much stronger. Aha. This'll do the trick. Here, try this one instead. Ooh. Come on, Elisa. Drink up. Now she's got green spots. Look, Doctor, look. Oh dear, I think this potion, I mean medicine, isn't working after all. Wait right there, I know just the thing to sort her out. This one turns whoever drinks it into a potato. Hee 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 hee. Third time lucky. Try this. I really hope this works, Doctor. <gasps> what was that? Uh. Don't touch that potion. Potion? I thought it was medicine. That's not medicine and that's not a doctor. That's Maleficent. She was trying to turn baby Elisa into a potato. <gasps> a potato? Uh -oh. Take that Maleficent and that. Ooh, ugh. Oh, disgusting. Ah. Uh, uh, Hesky Spider-Man! Maleficent, you're so naughty! But look, her chicken pox are all gone! They've got magic healing properties! Thank you so much, Spider-Man! No problem, always happy to help! Thanks for watching everyone! Don't forget to like and subscribe! Bye! Fish toast, my favourite! 
This is amazing! I've got to tell the others! Olivia, come quick! You're never going to... Huh? Then fish toast came flying out, then my phone turned into toast, and then... <gasps> Olivia! What's happened? Why do I smell like fish? Don't worry, Olivia. I'm going to get help. Liliana, look! I really need your help! Ah, oh, not again! Oh, Isabella, thank goodness you're here! What's going on? It seems everything I touch turns into toast! Fishy toast. Oh, I was wondering what that smell was. We all smell of fish. Well, I don't know about you, but I've had enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, now isn't the time for fish puns. We need to do something before I turn the whole of Kitty's Userland into a piece of toast. Hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. What is it? It's a toaster. I know it's a... What's the problem with it? Oh, well it looks like someone's fiddled with the wiring. Who would do such a thing? <gasps> Mr. Malice! Snug I mean, Malice. That should do it. Yes, I'm back to normal! Now time to get my own back on Malice. But we're still pieces of toast. Don't worry about us then. Right, time to teach Malice that no one ruins Esme's breakfast. What do you mean you're hungry? You just ate! What? Who's there? Who did this? Now, now, Timothy. Easy now. Remember what we said about not eating too many carbohydrates. <laughs> Timothy? Timothy? Sesame. Ooh, what have we? And also your lunch. Well, I and dinner. Ooh, I can't believe. And brunch and eleven zoos and tea and midnight feast. This is. This is. This is a dream, isn't it? Well, of course it's a dream. Now enjoy your meals. I'm off to play balls with the queen. Ta-ta! Esme. Esme! Esme! No, Butler Olivia, come back. Come back, Butler Olivia. Esme! Butler Olivia! Butler Olivia. Oh, hey Olivia. I was having the most amazing dream and you were there and you were there and you were there. As a butler apparently. Oh Olivia, it was like my perfect world. All my meals came at once. Sounds gross. What would your perfect world be Olivia? I hereby declare that Malice has graduated from the School of Good Behaviour and Niceness with a degree in not pranking Olivia. Oh, Malice! Care to add any ingredients to this delicious soup that I've been making? Nope, smells great already. How about this Jenga tower? Care to knock it over? Oh, how ghastly, of course not. Ooh, I spy a slime gun, fully loaded. I wouldn't dare. This is, this is boring. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> Actually, 
Maybe not. Maybe not what? We were just imagining our perfect worlds. Perfect worlds, eh? Hello and welcome to the Zoos at 10. Tonight's top story. Everything is broken and requires fixing, apart from all the stuff required to broadcast this news program. Good night! Better get to work! My screwdriver's broken as well! All my tools are broken! Everything's broken! Ah! <laughs> Sounds like your perfect world wasn't that perfect either. It was awful! Well mine was brilliant! Actually Esme, if you had all your meals for breakfast, you wouldn't have any more food for the rest of the day! What? Well, I knew Butler Olivia was too good to be true. Butler Olivia? Isabella, we were just discussing what our perfect worlds would be. Well, never mind that. Anyway, I just walked past Malice and she was smelling flowers and reciting poetry. Huh? And then I walked past someone like you, Olivia. But she was wearing a moustache and was playing balls with the queen. <gasps> what? Then I walked past a pile of broken screwdrivers. <gasps> no! Babysitting service. Oh, well, I couldn't possibly choose between two such brilliant babysitters. How about a competition? The winner can be my new babysitter. Deal! A babysitting competition? Scared, Olivia? Fine, you're on. <laughs> wow, Mrs. Sousa! What a beautiful baby! What a... <sighs> Mrs. Zuza, this isn't a baby.
Right, time to work out the scores. Olivia, hold my pen. So the scores are, with one round to go. My baby! Who did this? It wasn't me. She's got. She's no, got the pen. No, uh, Get out! Both of you! Out! <laughs> you look just like your father. Malice, I can't believe you did that. It wasn't me, I'm telling you! <gasps> Barry, do! <gasps> Don't even think of running. Let's take him to Mrs. Zuza, Olivia. <laughs> Mrs. Zuza, we found out who. Wait, where is he? <laughs> Kitty Zooza! Today in Kitty Zooza, we're going to be learning colours! Hooray! Alright! Woohoo! Learning colours! <sighs> Boring! Learning colours with ice cream! Challenge. The learning ice cream challenge decoration? No, Esme. The learning colours ice cream decoration challenge. <sighs> How is decorating ice cream going to help us with colours? Well, we have five different colours. Red, yellow, purple, blue and brown. We each choose one colour and we can only use that colour to decorate our ice cream. And who's the winner? The winner is whoever makes the nicest decorations. This will be a piece of cake, or should I say a scoop of ice cream? Come on then, let's get it over with. I'll have the... I'll have yellow! I was going to say yellow, but I guess I'll go for... Oh, I'll have red! <sighs> Okay, I guess I'll take them. Purple for me. This is outrageous. Fine, I'll have. Woo, blue for me. Oh, well, what does that leave me with? Brown. Oh, how fantastic. Right, princesses and princesses. Are you ready? Are you steady? Are you go? Wait, I mean, go. Well, I have yellow. I love yellow. It's my favourite. <laughs> I've got custard, bananas and pineapple and they're all different shades of yellow. I'm going to start with the pineapple. Now the banana. One, two, three, four. Now a little bit of custard. No wait, a lot of it. Delicious. Get ready to lose princesses. Ha <laughs> ha, no way I'm losing. I've got the best colour, purple. Ooh. I've got Parma violets, grapes and more Parma violets. There, beat that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I've got red. Everyone knows that's the best colour. 
Ooh. Some strawberries. Some raspberries. And lastly, some strawberry laces. Well, if you think those are good decorations, wait till you see what I got. Aha! You can never have enough blueberries. That's what I say. All your decorations are pathetic. I've got brown, the colour of chocolates. <laughs> I'm going to add loads of chocolate buttons, chocolate sauce and chocolate icing. This looks delicious. Mmm. Hmm. It smells like something weird. It smells like mud. It tastes like mud. Right. Well, if you think you're so clever, I'm sure you wouldn't mind some extra ingredients. Liliana, you like yellow. How about sweet corn? sweet corn on my dress. Esme, how about some delicious purple beetroot? Ugh, malice. Oh, Isabella, something red. Hmm. Aha, ketchup. Ugh, ugh. Ketchup? That is disgusting. Who's winning now then? Nobody. Not after the mess you made, Malice. <laughs> I think you're forgetting someone. My blueberry masterpiece is still in one piece. <sighs> Ooh, an eggplant. You were saying. Right, well then, call it a draw. Sounds good to me. Me too. Me three. Um, malice? Hmm, mm. whatever. This mud isn't half bad, actually. Welcome, everyone, to the Kitty Zooza Talent Show. We have a great lineup tonight from all of our talented princesses. First up, Olivia. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to treat you all to some stand-up comedy. Comedy. OK, here it goes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wooden shoe. Wooden shoe. Wouldn't you like to hear another joke? <laughs> OK, I'll take that as a no. Thank you, Olivia, for the uh, comedy. Moving on, next up we have Esme performing a song. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to be playing a song on my guitar. Oh, um, I seem to have forgotten my guitar. Um, I I have grapes though. <laughs> Um, grapes are great. Uh, they are like um, natural candy. Um, they are shaped a bit like eggs. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> right? Well, that was definitely like no song I've ever heard before. Not in a good way. OK, Liliana is next. Um, it seems like Liliana isn't here. Never mind. Isabella is next, then. Thank you. This year, I've prepared a picture which I call... Portrait of Happiness. Oh. Why aren't you all clapping? Oh. I see. You simply do not understand great art. 
Okay. Well, I guess that's it then. Can we have all the performers back on stage, please? And the winner is... Ray, that was awful! No one should win! You're cheering? For me? The winner is... Malice! I can't believe it! Thank you so much! I've always wanted to win a trophy! I'm so happy! I'm so sorry I'm late! I've just finished my new invention! The Super Magnetic Glove! Oh, what a twist! It looks like we have a new winner! The trophy goes to... Liliana! What? But I won! <sighs> Whatever. Didn't even want a trophy. <sighs> Thank you so much! I'm honoured! You deserved it. Thank you for coming, everyone. Someone should probably tidy up those bears on the stage.